Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I'd like to start with maybe this question. For people that may feel like their situation is beyond hope or possibility, or maybe they've been working with an issue in their life for a long time and they're losing hope, what would you say to them? Uh, Darius, you know what? That is so true, and many, many, many people are going through it. First of all, I'm going to say have compassion for yourself. The mm -hmm. number one thing is to realize compassion is a high vibration, and it Straight to the heart, baby. It goes right mm. in there. And compassion, when you feel compassion for other people, turn it around and feel it for yourself. That's the first thing that I recommend to people is when they're going through something, it's not about judging it or putting yourself down or saying that you're not good enough because, you know, that's something we've done for ever. <laughs> and yet it's not about that. It's about what we're doing and changing ourselves. And so what this is, this is a new vibration coming in. So as you start going through it, it's like um, it's like what's happening is that there is a form of chaos occurring. And it can make you feel like like you're not stepping up to the plate or that you're stuck. You know, and some people feel like that. And that's the, that's the whole thing that's going on with a lot of people right now. But it's not that you're stuck. It's that what's happening is you're at a point it's like, like like a diet okay it's like a diet you you reach you know you you lost 10 pounds but why can't you lose that other five because yeah. you reach a certain point where you're ready to say okay now what can i do about that so once you start recognizing that it's like it's like jogging you run and run you think you're going to get really tired then suddenly you get a second boost and you start going again right so this is what it's like when you're going through these uh changes and many people are experiencing what they think is depression but we we have to be careful on our words mm -hmm. because it's not depression necessarily it's a form of having to sit quietly and reevaluate what you've been through and what you want to see for your future. What do you want? And so a lot of times it's where people are ready to learn something new as long as they don't get into the pattern or the habit of disqualifying themselves. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 So wow. okay. it's a... It's Compassion. It's, it, it just has to be more compassion for our own self. For people that aren't familiar with you uh, and your story, tell us about how you got started as an energy practitioner. Oh, boy. Okay, I only have so much time. <laughs> <laughs> how did I get started in all of this? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I was born um, I was born shaman. And, and what I mean by that is mm. I was born to an Italian father and a Polish mother, and we had six – I was the sixth child and um and interestingly enough they weren't expecting me and so i came into the world and i had just uh as i was i was six months old when my brother who was three years old he was an albino in our family and and my brother danny passed away and i've heard that he was an angel in a lot of ways because he was always trying to stop my parents from you know fighting and arguing he would put his hands out you know like a little kid does mm. and he wants peace mm. and so this yeah, is what yeah. but danny danny had a big heart he had a really really big heart and i mean that physically and mm -hmm. uh, it was so big that it wasn't pumping right and so they took him in in Los Angeles we lived in LA oh, okay. and when they took him in they actually did the heart surgery so the the friend that you're talking about right now I feel very empathetic to that because when Danny would got on the table he didn't make it his uh, the heart transplant they were doing uh, it didn't he didn't survive it but when Danny passed away apparently there was a contract between me and him because at okay. that particular time I woke up in consciousness what that means is that mm -hmm. I woke up knowing that I was in a body I actually looked at my hands 
And I said, oh, well, these will do. And I'm, I, I started feeling I'm back in a human body. And so I started recognizing at six months old. And, you know, with spirit in consciousness, there is no age. And so once I attuned to that, even at six months, I could look up and wait and see my grandmother coming into the room. I could see her, you know, getting ready to change my diaper. <laughs> I could see a little pin in her wow. mouth. You know, it goes right down to the nitty-gritty. And then you see, you know, all the way around you, you could see, like, the windows, and you see where the furniture is. And I remember telling myself at six months old, I am going to remember where all this furniture is so that I can tell my mother one day that I know when I was a baby where we Oh, my were. goodness. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so was, that's consciousness, man. That's that's that's, that's pure form. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Wow. Wow. Now, then how did this move into sort of the work you do now? I mean, did it, did it just keep evolving and evolving? Were you one of those yeah, kids trying to help everybody? Yeah, I was one of those people. Like, you know, I, I was a form of a pleaser, I think, when I was little, you know, Darius. Mm. And, and yet at the same time, I remember uh, my grandmother having really swollen – ankles that like when I was four years old and I remember looking at her and just going that's not right that's not right you know and, mm -hmm. I, and I remember going up to her and touching her her ankles and just kind of like naturally rubbing her you know and uh, the ankles went down it, it, within within four hours she had ankles that were down but they didn't talk about that back then that was kind of a weird weird thing and so we never really discussed it but it was stuff like that that came out and then in then you know there were many 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 different forms of experiences that came out later um i had what they call a light experience at six years old and that was actually i was out in the front yard playing with a blade of grass of all things and i was looking at the little hairs with the blade of grass yeah. and all and we were still in la and i remember looking out and saying all of a sudden my vision went away in, in just a second, mm -hmm. it turned white. It didn't turn black, but all my vision was gone, and it turned completely white. And I would say this lasted for about two and a half minutes. Uh, I tried to look around the neighborhood, and I couldn't see a thing. Uh, everything was white. But I heard inside of myself, I heard the words, don't be afraid. Okay. And I, I remember hearing that very clearly. And then as soon as I recognized not to be afraid, it's like this feeling of, oh, it's okay, everything's okay. As soon as I felt that, boom, my vision came back. So it was stuff like that that, that you know, has kind of presented more and more and more of this wonderful work that we're doing on the planet. It's just continuously um, opening and expanding. And, you know, and, and as we pay attention, everybody is capable of, of the things I do. Everybody's capable of that. So it's just a matter now what are we learning together? What are, how are we unifying ourselves, you know, in this awesome state of where we are today, which is all about the changes. And I really appreciate all the people you've had on your show, Darius, because everybody is, is really tuning into this. And, you know, you're such a great host for having everybody out there like that who are teaching, you know, humanity uh, to become unified. And, and that's really what the universe is trying to tell us, you know, through mm. all of these, um, you know, full moons and, and eclipses and all that stuff. It's all coming together on an energetic level to help us and encourage us to expand. It, it's amazing, and I'm so I'm so glad you're here. And one of the things we get a lot of people with individual questions about, you know, their their energy, their situation, their life. Um, one of the things I've heard you talk about is past lives and maybe this idea of karma. What does that have to do with health and healing? Oh boy. Well, you know, past <laughs> lives. <laughs> what do we have? An hour and a half? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Okay, past lives are based in, um, we all have them. I mean, it's thousands of lifetimes. You don't have to even know how many lifetimes. It's not about knowing how many lifetimes. People get kind of hung up on that. I would say that's not worth it. What you want to okay. do is just know in your mind that it's about you have come back here to relearn something that you didn't learn the last time. So it's like you, and, and you will come back with memory. A lot of people, especially the kids today, holy cow, they're coming back with memory that they can sit there at three years old and say, remember my dog, Ollie, that I had in the last lifetime, Mommy? <laughs> You know, and they'll say that, uh, no. <laughs> but these kids are wow. coming back knowing that we have past lives. And they don't even look at it as past life. They see it as a continuation. And so the beautiful part is like I like to tell people that past lives are like a calendar. You know, lifetimes are like a calendar. You can take a look at the calendar and you have different months. Well, you just turn the page and you have a new month. But it's the same calendar. It's the same way with us. 
every time we come back into another lifetime, we have the ability to redirect our life in an area that we didn't before, which is why we have carryovers. And this is what gets people hung up, Darius. It's carryovers. Okay. You know, and that's what happens. We we come in knowing, now let's say, for example, okay, let's say you were in World War II and you got shot in a bunker. Well, mm-hmm. what's that going to do when you come back? And, you know, when you're on the other side, you become free. You understand that you're not limited to any lifetime. You are a huge spirit and you know just about anything there is to know. But the reason right. we have to come back is because we're learning something else. You can't stay in the same body for 5,000 years. So you just keep moving on and then you, you lose that one body and you come back again. And so in spirit, it's not judgment. It has nothing to do with judgment. It has to do with what you're ready for on the next level. And so that's what happens. We come back into this world, and then we're ready to move on into a new category, for, you know, so to speak. And whatever you want to do is fine, but you will have to be challenged on some level on our planet Earth because this is a planet of lessons. And the world of lessons is about learning how to increase your vibration. So vibration is always about how you relate to other people, to circumstances, and then, of course, how you feel about things. And so it's always opening up another level. So that's what each lifetime does. It gives you another opportunity to expand into an awareness that you already knew from being on the other side. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're gonna get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna get to be a part of the UF Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.